Budget Bogans. Where is I'm Fiona. I'm Mel. And this week we're going to do something a little different. The last few weeks we've been doing a whole lot of sweet stuff. So this this week we're going to do what's what our mum makes as meatloaf, which is awesome. So what we need is three slices of bread that's been crumbed. If you're gluten intolerant or you can't have gluten, you could always do uh, gluten free cornflakes. Coles has a great um, box for two dollars and it's awesome. So then we've got a cup of milk. We have an egg. We've got a teaspoon of salt. We've got French onion packets. Worcestershire sauce. And a kilo of mince. So this makes a fairly big batch. If you've got meatloaf tins, it can fit two or a big casserole dish. It, it can be used. It's awesome. So what we're going to do? We have these as meatloaf tins. This one has got holes in it, and this one that catches the fat underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix everything together, and then we'll put them into the trays. We're going to use our hands, so our hands are going to get dirty and up the nail. So that's always fun. Break it up so it's easy to mix. It feels like brains. Ugh. I suppose. You could, people could have done that at Halloween. Just the mince without cooking it or anything yeah. like that. It's like, oh. Yeah. No. Well, that was weeks ago, so. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you can't do it at Christmas. Yeah. Might offend some people. Alright, Crazy. So, let's put the wishes, uh, the French onion soup packet. I need scissors. <laughs> that drawer. And then I'm going to make the gluten free one. So, I'm going to put in. Uh, good cornflakes. Now I find the continental French onion is actually does actually not have that didn't sound right at all. No. Doesn't have gluten in, so that works well. I'm using the breadcrumbs so because I'm, I'm not gluten intolerant. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's only my nails. <laughs> I go all over the bench. Oh, it's very French onion your soupy stuff. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, you can totally wear the, you know, the food gloves. I was going to do that because I really wanted to have my hands up like this and go, there's next patient. But I didn't get any. So it's just going to go all over my fingers. Alright, so once we've mixed in the breadcrumbs, you drop some. We're going to mix in the milk and the egg. That's not what, what not to do. I poured it right on the egg and it sprayed back at me. Oh, I rolled down my shorts. <laughs> so the egg and the milk, milk help it sort of mix and hold together. It acts as glue. And the breadcrumbs slash cornflakes. Oh wow, that's cold. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to put it into the, the tins, the, the two meatloaf tins for the gluten one. Can I put your salt and Worcestershire sauce first? Oh yeah, we have to. I can't mm. read that, it's gone off and I'm not touching it with my... Yeah, it's 
Haiti. Alright, so. A Bowie. We need one and a quarter. We just need some salt and we should sauce. How many of these? Honestly, just make it up. It's supposed to be one <laughs> tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Usually it's harder to get out! <laughs> How much a tablespoon? One tablespoon. Oh, okay, that's gonna be good. <laughs> and then one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. This one's gonna be a little bit more um, colourful. Make sure to, to lift it and turn it as you, to get it all through. Yeah, probably a good idea is next because if you're going to use the milk and use your hands is to get them out. Get the milk out so it can warm up a little bit. So after forgetting those last two ingredients, <laughs> that's it. That's everything that needs to go in. It's going to go into the, the tins. And we'll come back in a few minutes once we've got it all ready to go. Sorry, sorry. Pause it. Hi guys, welcome back. So we've mixed them and put them into and pushed them down so they're fairly even. Doesn't really matter if they're not completely flat. We certainly didn't get out our set square. So we're now going to put them in the oven for 45 minutes and then we're going to bring them out and we'll make the sauce toppings. Yep. So we'll see you then. Hi all. Welcome back. So we've had that in for 45 minutes. What we're going to do now, it's looking lovely. It's pulled away from the sides, which will allow it ease, an ease to get it out of the tray. Um, what we're going to do now is going to make the sauce. So we've got a quarter of a cup of tomato sauce, a teaspoon of dry mustard, um, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So we're just going to put it into a measuring cup because we're going to pour it over. And we're only putting the sauce on the two in the rectangle ones because my children don't like the sauce they're strange um, so we're going to just put it on the two of them and then the bigger ones going to have the gluten-free ones going to have no sauce all right so let's start off with the yeah probably so good in this kitchen. Mmm, beefy. I don't know what vegetarian alternative could be used with that. I don't think there is one. The corns, just gonna... that corn mincy stuff that oh, people yeah. use on... Um... I'm sure there's some kind of meat substitute or something that vegetarians eat. I don't know, I'm not a vegetarian. Let us know in the comments below. If you've tried it before. That's, that's, that's going to come out all over the place. Yeah. the brown sugar in a uh, container but I can't find the container so we just taped it up that way nothing can get in it oh, So if your children don't see you do it, hide it. As if they don't eat the other stuff. Yeah, if you, if you don't have fussy children, you're all good. Alright, so let's pour half over one. And then we'll spoon it around. With an actual spoon. Yeah, that'll do. That'll get it. Oh 
but definitely definitely does enough for the two or if you've just got it in one casserole dish you'll have plenty plenty for the fam and some leftover leftovers are always good oh, easy. Right, so this is going to go back into the oven for another 15 minutes and then we'll come back with the finished product see you soon, soon. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is our finished product. We've got the one with the sauce and we've got the gluten free one which doesn't have the sauce. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to cut up, so I'm going to cut a tomato up. Probably. We're going. Okay, she has an issue with how I cut tomatoes. I like cutting tomatoes sideways with that, you know, Can slice you around through. circles. She doesn't like me doing that. She likes me doing it sideways like this, so I go down like that. So I'm going to do it her way. Just Comment so down below which one you prefer. The right way, which is my way, or her way. Yeah, no. Not as right way.